Hello all, welcome back to Career with Vasant YouTube channel. My name is Vasant. I hope you all doing well. So this is a very important video where I'm going to continue to discuss more about the DSA question. So in this particular video also, I'm going to discuss a lead code question. So where this looks like very easy problem to solve, but it has a lot of intricacies. Okay. So if you want me to make more content about DSA videos, please mention that in the comment section. Just before we start with the question, recently I had a requirement where I was supposed to build a video calling application. And we had a couple of options. One is to use our in-house video calling capability where we build things from scratch or we would use some external resources. The problem with even the using the external resource was we wanted some tool that gives us the capability of video calling and the live chatting. But we also wanted to make sure like that particular tool is going to allow us to customize the UI. We don't have a lot, lot of time to build our own UI. So we encountered a new tool called uh, Zigo Cloud. So I've used this in my a lot of my projects where it has a UI kit makes your app building quicker and easier. So it has so many things. If you observe here, the video call, voice call, live streaming, in-app chat, super board, AIFX, cloud recording, probably anything a particular app that requ would require in terms of multimedia chatting and video call, they have it in place. And the beauty is, so you have the quick integration, few lines of code within 30 minutes. So you don't have to worry about writing the code on your own. A lot of course is built in free credit. This is something that we really wanted. So we don't want to pay upfront. And uh, if the tool is not good, we are losing all our money. So almost 10,000 free minutes is given to you after you register with which you can build a lot of things and verify there are they reliable or not. Only after that, you can subscribe for their paid plans. Platform compatibility, they integrate seamlessly well, whether it's React Native, Native Android, Native iOS, Web, all of them is seamlessly integrated. So you don't have to worry about anything. Another very important thing like I was mentioning was UI kit. So we did not have so much time to build the UI on our own. Like for example, on a group video call, if we wanted to have multiple users with small uh, user icons or small users on top of a larger image where we wanted that user rectangle, the corner should be a front around it. All of those, I don't have to add a single line of code. Everything we could do just by enabling and disabling the flag inside that UI kit. So it's wonderful for your next multimedia application. I would highly recommend. Please go ahead and use the Zigo Cloud. Okay. Now, without wasting further time, let's get started with the project. We have uh, the problem is plus one. What is the problem? Let's read it. You are given a in large integer represented as an integer array of digits where each digit of i is the ith digit of the integer. The digits are ordered from most significant to least significant, left to right, most significant to least significant. Okay. So the larger integer does not contain any leading zeros. Increment the large num large integer by one and return the resulting array of rigid digits. Okay. So we have one, two, three, as you might have not fully understood the problem statement. Let's go and look at an example. One, two, three output is one, two, four. The array represents an integer one, two, three. Increment the given by 1, 2, 3 plus 1. It's going to become 1, 2, 4. Result uh, by 1, 2, 4. As simple as that. Okay. So the same goes here. 4, 3, 2, 1. 4, 3, 2, 2. Because 1 is added here. Okay. It was 9. We are becoming 10. Okay. Very simple problem to look at. And me also being a front-end developer who is JavaScript. The simplest solution that we all think is convert the digit array into a string. Okay, because we could merge all the numbers and make it to one string and convert that into a number and just add one to it. And again, you use the split and join to return another array. Correct. So that looks a uh, very tempting approach. But the problem is first you need to convert the digits into a single string. Okay, that itself is one of n complexity. After you do that, then you have to uh, convert that into a number and then you add one to it. Number conversion is again, takes a moment of the pro pro performance and after adding one to it, again, you need to form a array, correct? So this looks good for a one, two, three, but if you look at here, the digit length can be, can go up to hundred. So digit of I can be a maximum of nine character, nine. So it's going to become a massive number, like hundred, uh, hundred digits number. You imagine so you're getting my point. It probably like, uh, like so big number. So convert making all these operations on that number is going to take a lot of performance. Okay. So instead what we can do. So I'm going to show, I've drawn some diagrams here for better understanding. Let me present to this. Okay. So if you look at it here, so we have like one, two, three. So we add one to the last digits and we return the complete digit array. Simple. If three is a non nine character if it anything other than nine we could just make this three plus one like whatever the digit plus one we reject the complete array as simple as that so if it is nine so we'll add one to it 
which is going to become make it zero here and whatever the digits that is prior to that we need to make that to one so another variation where the ninth character uh, if you see if, if the last digit is nine so you're adding one to that and the previous digit whatever we have we will add plus one to that okay and we would return it previous digit whatever it is let's say instead of one zero nine let's say it is of one eight one so then we are going to eight plus one is equal to nine so there's only one catch what if this is also nine correct you might be already thinking third variation where let's say all the numbers are nine okay so nine plus one we make it ten so we are going to do the plus one here okay so we'll do the plus one here so again it become nine plus one which is ten correct so the nine plus one which is going to become ten so here also the nine plus one which is making zero here also nine plus one which is making zero in such case by for some reason we crossed all the numbers okay so the if you have crossed all the numbers without meeting either of these two condition then it is understood that the given number is only contains nine 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 in that case just add one to the beginning of the array i'll repeat it the three variations one the last digit is something adding it that adding it to one is not making it 10 that's the first variation putting other way that this digit is not nine. Second variation is where the last digit is nine okay so that adding one to it is making the number as 10 in such cases whatever the last digit minus one you add one to it and return the digit okay for some reason if the array is complete but still you have not encountered one case one or case two then it is understood you have all the digits as 999 okay it could be like three digit five digit and probably 99 nine digits correct so in such cases you just prepend the solution by one okay make all the other digits as zero just prepend the array with one and return the results let's see let's start by coding it i will for the considering the duration of the video i'm going to fast forward this once i complete my coding i'm going to explain the solution to you okay Okay, my solution is accepted now. I made a couple of typos. I highly insist you avoid making those small typos, which is gonna give you red flag in the interview. So avoid doing that. I, because the video I was doing a little fast, I might have made that, but you guys don't do that in the interview. Now, the same solution, what we're discussing, I have actually implemented this year. So where I points to the last digit, length minus one, I greater than or equal to zero, I minus minus. If digits of I, which is this, if digits of I plus one, not equal to 10, in this case, yes. So three plus one is four, which is not equal to 10, correct? So just return add digits of i, digits of i plus one. So three plus one, which will become four, return digits array. So we, it will become one to four, only one change. What if it is like one nine nine, or like uh, probably one zero nine, correct? So in such case, what is happening? One zero nine plus one, or the digits of i, which is the last digit is nine, nine plus one equals to 10. So we are not going inside this if. We are making the digits of i as equal to zero. So here the, this digit has become zero now. Next, so i minus minus. So i is now pointing to this particular place. So what we are doing, digits of zero, digit of now uh, one plus one, which is actually zero plus one, correct? So which is not equal to 10, correct? Because it's just one. So I'm adding that to one and return the digits. So it has become one, one, zero. Example number three, nine, nine, nine plus one, one, one. So in this case, first, in scenario digits of i plus one not equal to 10 correct because it's equal to 10 then digits of i i made it as zero so this became zero next this became zero next this became zero as we are checking i greater than or equal to zero so the last case is when i was zero so we came here i is equal to zero so we would enter i is equal to zero like i told only when neither of these conditions are met such case i just unshifted the array and added one to it and returned the digits okay unshift as most of you know reverse of push push will add a value at the end of the array unshift would add a value at the beginning of the array okay so in this particular example so unshift added one here and we return these particular digits okay i'm going to show the code again for loop if in the digits and again if i is equal to zero this is the thing okay i'm sure most of you understood this, understood this problem the whole rational behind making this video is to make your thought process in a very creative way. Do not stick to the approach which you already know that is converting array and joining it and making into making an output by using that approach. Please don't do that. Try to think of an innovative approach. 
okay and i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video please like it share with your friends comment whatever you felt honestly if you want more videos about the dsa please mention that in the comment section if you're not already subscribed to my channel care with Asant, please subscribe follow me on linkedin i have 53000 plus followers on my linkedin where i write actively about interview and career preparation and uh, i write actively about medium follow me on medium as well thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video